Hello, welcome to Spurverts Part 1. I'm Rhys James and Craig Mitch is back. Oh, oh yeah. The old gang back together at last. Yes, back the from the Big Apple. The old team Ooh. back together, finally. It's back from New York. Yep. Good fun, learn anything? Amazing, amazing. See any uh, American football franchise stuff? Uh, no, just a lot of people stop me saying, love Spurred On, loving Spurred On out there. You and Reese James absolutely killing it. Guys, we send our love out to you too. Keep watching. Don't believe you. Okay, so things we are happy and excited about this week. Obviously, the West Ham performance. Oh, yeah. How good was that? Best I've seen us play this season, I think. What about you? Yeah, arguably the performance of the season. I mean, in every department, we just looked good, solid. Everyone knew, that what, solid. They, everyone knew what they had to do. They, they, they listened to Poch's instructions, everyone gave 110% effort, and I'm very proud. Yeah, good, good. Like a proud mother. Um, <laughs> first what? minute of the game, I was nervous because they were so up for it. They immediately seemed up for it. All the players, all yeah. the fans, they were so up for it. And I thought, it is their cup final. 4-1 in your cup final with a chance going around. Mm. Uh, it is your cup final. And I was a bit concerned and so thought, was I. Well, it's not our cup final. But then I thought, actually, no, we are quality this year. First 20 minutes, they were hard to break down. They were yep. set up defensively. Organized. But then we got that goal from a little moment of space. Ooh. Harry Kane Spin, bangs it in the stuck net. Stuck it away. Left quality. Jenkinson just in no man's land. He just loves to do that to anything related to Arsenal. Yeah. Like anything yeah. Arsenal yeah. related, yeah. he just likes to destroy and humiliate. Well done, Harry Kane. Good lad. That's what we like to see. Um, also, the way you're wearing that shirt. A bit humiliating when you're a kid. Uh, <laughs> you had weird hair. You anyway, um, yeah, it was quality. Yeah. I wanted to make a comment on uh, Poch's man management, right? Because just where I sit mm. uh, in the West Stand, uh, don't criticise me, the West Stand don't sing as much, very sorry. Um, in the West Stand, all right, my dad buys the tickets, guys. <laughs> uh, in the West Stand, where I sit, is quite near where the managers are, right? When Deli Alley was getting in that fight with Mark Noble and oh, it was yeah. kicking off, and it was a bit like all the players came over to go, like, oh, chill out yeah. or go, no, let's get him. Yeah. Um, suddenly Poch appeared, right, and grabbed Deli Alley like that. By, the, by like, the jaw. By the jaw. Clamped. And took him off like that. And Deli Alley's face, he was still there all fired up, and then he clocked who it was, and he just immediately went like, like, he, he, as soon as he realised, he realised, oh my God, it's my boss. Yeah, and he chilled <laughs> out. And I just want to say, that's all he had to do. He just grabbed him like that for a second and he saw who it was and he just went, you know what? I'm immediately not angry anymore. That's a bit worrying. I'm not though. fired at, I know. What is going on on the training ground? It was, it was impressive though. It was like, yeah, yeah. he went, it was like he was saying, don't get ahead of yourself. You've had a really good month. You had yeah. a good season, and this month has been really big for you. But maybe you're getting a bit too big for your boots there, yeah. Dele Alli. I mean, you I... don't want to get in fights. You're about to get booked, which is going to rule you out of the Chelsea game. Yep. And I don't want you getting sent off to rule you out of any more games. Mm. Uh, so it was good man management, and then he subbed him off five minutes later, and as he went off, he apologised. down a bit. He apologised to Poch. Yeah, I mean, I think he, I think generally that just speaks about his man management in general. Like, he's he's been really good with each of the players, and I think... We've had that discussion about if maybe an ego's in the team, a big superstar. You can't yeah. really control a big superstar like that. Like, if you went to grab maybe Costa's face, Costa would yeah, be like, yeah, what the yeah. hell are you doing? Don't, well, can you, I just think, can you imagine him doing that to Jan? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, maybe, Jan yeah maybe. maybe not. He's, they're big men, like Dembele, maybe not. But all the youngsters, he's got the them. Young, he's, they the listen, and I, I think father it's good. Figure. He's, he's like a, a father figure. Like a father figure to those guys, bringing them up. It's great to see. Love it. Especially Deli Ali. The, oh, God. Great. I love the guy. Great I stuff, love you, Deli Ali. Great stuff, Ali. Good for apologising to him at the end. Uh, Dembele. Oh. Obviously, we've got to talk about Dembele. Yet again, another absolutely amazing performance. The One guy word. Is One on word, Reese. Rejuvenation. I know, right? Rejuvenation That's for the nation. The word I was expecting, weirdly. Um, but I don't know what I was expecting. But just rejuvenation. He's it, it, I mean, Dembele looks like a new man, a new signing completely. He does. He looks. Oh, he God. doesn't lose the ball. When he has the ball at his feet, he just drifts past players as if they don't exist. I mean, he he's does. so good with the ball and he's looking at the player we signed from Fulham. He's just he's just phenomenal at the moment and I can't see him being dropped. He has to be accommodated in, 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 in any way. He's, he's, he's so good. He is. It's amazing how good he is. And it's like he's got a, an extra yard of pace all of a sudden. I've seen yeah. him, I'm seeing him chase guys down. For, I've never seen him run like that in the last three years. Yeah, he chases people he, down. He's, he's known as being like was. a lazy guy. He's and now so he's, strong. There's and just so, the so ball's many... always stuck to his feet. He yeah. can't lose the ball. It's amazing. He does that. He's got an amazing thing he does where he just like, whenever it seems like he's about to lose the ball, he just does a full 360 and then he's away. Spins off that old kind of Scott Parker move, but yeah. just with a bit more elegance. With yeah. it, and a lot more pace. Yeah. See, this Scott is the Parker. thing. Like, we could, Spurvets right now is just a breeding ground for positivity because it's there is so it? much good things. We, we don't have enough time. We'd run out of memory on the SD card. Like, exactly. it, everyone is playing really, really well. Everyone, the Poch is playing, everyone at Spurs just deserves credit. Even Daniel Levy, even, even Daniel Levy, for just having the guts to kind of get a manager like Poch and let the manager do what he wants and sacking Baldini. Yeah, everyone. 
Any Random negatives? Goals. Any negatives at all? Just the conceding the goal. That, that was it. That, that was it. I was, I was quite upset about it, but it happened. And he scored a very classy goal, I'll so you can't you. get too mad. We always forgive him. I'll forgive you, given the, given the circumstances of the game, I'll forgive you. Any yep. other time you do that, Kyle, and I'll be furious, and, and I'll be screaming at you on Spurvo. <laughs> and quickly, though, even though he made the mistake, he kind of recovered, and it was just a great finish from a, Lanzini. I mean, to beat finish. Hugo from that angle, it was a good finish, so, yep. yeah. Fair enough. Well, as you say, we are out of time in this part. Check out part two of Spurverts. We'll be talking about other things that we are very excited about. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Leave in the comments your thoughts on the West Ham game, your thoughts on Pochettino's man management, whether you'd be happy with him grabbing your face. <laughs> Let us know and we will see you soon. How's it going, guys? Welcome to part two of Spurverts. In part one, we spoke about Spurs and how great they are. But in part two, we're going to talk about some potential transfers.